This video contains descriptions for the visually impaired. Hobbin looking off camera, lights and background. So many people have low expectations for those of us with disabilities. Hobbin reading braille. They see the disability and think that's the whole story. Hobbin looking and smiling to camera. But we're complex. My name is Hobbin Gurma. I'm an advocate for people with disabilities. Photo, Hobbin wearing a cap and gown receiving her diploma at graduation from Harvard Law. I graduated from Harvard Law in 2013. Hobbin at Riverside Country School with an audience of students behind her. And I use my skills and talents to remove barriers. Hobbin greeting audience at the podium. Good morning. Good morning. Hobbin and her guide dog standing on steps. I am a woman. I'm a person of color. I'm the daughter of refugees and I'm deafblind. Text, Harvard Law's first deafblind graduate disrupting disability rights. Hobbin talking to camera. As a deafblind person in a sighted hearing world, I struggle to find a system that works well for me to communicate with people. Text, Hobbin developed her own communication system. Hobbin reading braille. Text, she uses a wireless keyboard and braille note computer designed by Humanware. I discovered that if I connect a braille computer with a keyboard, I can easily connect with people. Reporter laughs, laughs while talking to Hobbin. Most people don't know sign language, but know how to type. Hobbin reading braille, person typing. As people are speaking, I'm reading their words on braille through my fingers. Hobbin on keyboard reading braille. Over the years, I've heard of other deaf-blind people also using the system. Text, Hobbin also travels with her guide dog. Milo sitting beside Hobbin. With me is a small German Shepherd. His name is Milo. He was trained at the Seeing Eye in Morristown, New Jersey. It's like the Harvard of guide dog schools. And now he travels the world with me. Milo and Hobbin walking in Paris, France with L'Art de Triomphe in front of them. Sometimes people wonder why would a blind person travel? Hobbin scaling a wall at the City Museum in St. Louis, Missouri. There's so much to feel and experience and taste. Hobbin eating onigiri. Hobbin partner dancing at a salsa club. I love partner dancing. I can't hear the beat or see the other dancers, but I can feel the beat through the hands and shoulders of the people I'm dancing with. When I went to Hawaii, I went surfing in the wonderful warm water. Hobbin riding a wave in Waikiki, Hawaii. I reached out to several surf schools and they told me we've never heard of a deafblind surfer. And then I found one surf school that said, let's find a way, let's figure it out. The instructor surfed side by side. Disability is rarely the problem. The problem is often society creating arbitrary barriers and we all need to work together to remove those barriers. Text, Hobbin is also an aspiring comedian. She attends classes at Face Off Unlimited in Astoria, Queens in New York City. Hobbin laughing with the improv group. I have been thinking about taking improv workshops for a long time. Humor is a powerful tool to help people feel comfortable. Text, the comedy company created a special class after reading that Hobbin was turned away in her search for inclusive improv. Socks! Hobbin interacting with her improv group. <laughs> As a person with a disability, I can help a non-disabled person relax. Hobbin rehearsing with her improv group. We're more likely to connect and get past ableism and stereotypes. Hobbin's braille typist, Tally, typing to Hobbin. Text. Hobbin also has assistance from her braille typist so she knows what each person is saying. Arrow pointing to Hallie. Hobbin's improv partner speaks. I know there's a very large contract you have to sign. I didn't read it. <laughs> Hobbin talking to her improv partner. I'm still thinking about the fact that you didn't read the contract. Crowd laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Text. Hobbin finished Harvard Law in 2013. She is the first and only deafblind graduate from Harvard Law. Photo of Hobbin with her parents on graduation day at Harvard. My parents had high expectations for me, and that taught me to also have high expectations for myself. I decided to become an attorney when I was in college. Hobbin walking with Hallie and Riverside Country School staff into auditorium. I noticed that when I used the Americans with Disabilities Act to remove barriers, it changed the whole culture, and I wanted to continue doing that. Auditorium filling with students in bleachers. I can't let fear control my life. I'm going to instead focus on what I can do. Hobbin talking to audience. 
Sign language is a form of innovation. I was told that if I wanted to get a job as an attorney, I needed to go to the best school possible. So I applied to Harvard, even though I thought I probably wouldn't get in. It was worth a shot just to try. Students in auditorium clapping. I learned that I got in and I was thrilled. Hobbin showing her keyboard to the auditorium. Now I travel around the world teaching organizations to invest in accessibility. Hobbin shakes a student's hand. Text. Hobbin is an advocate for accessibility and technological advances. The majority of apps are not accessible. Hobbin typing on her keyboard. We keep asking engineers, developers, design with access in mind. Hobbin texting her friend Gordon. Reply. Button. Because it drives innovation drives revenue and benefits all of us in the long run. Text, quote, don't call me inspirational, end quote. Hobbin skiing with guide. People with disabilities get called inspirational all the time. President Obama giving Hobbin a hug in the White House. My response is, what are you inspired to do? Allow that emotion to drive change. Disability is not the biggest barrier. The biggest barrier is people telling me you can't do something. Hobbin speaking at the president's address. Ask people and hold them accountable. Allow me to share a story. Panoramic portrait shot of Hobbin. All my success shows what is possible when we create inclusive communities and give kids with disabilities an opportunity from the start. Inclusion is a choice. CNBC Make It End Credits.